People get lost around here a lot. A lot of hazards in the woods. There's a lot of rattlesnakes and a lot of bees. There is a high price to pay for ginseng. A lot of uh, hype about uh, come dig West Virginia ginseng or go anywhere and dig ginseng. It's supposedly easy to do. Well, it's really it's not. The mountains are steep. Go to the mountain, to the top, and sing to the bottom. That's the best way. It grows in plains. Like uh, certain elevations are better. You get to that plain and you just go around the mountain. It enhances your eyesight. It makes you aware of the things that surround you. It's like uh, when you're ginsenging, you don't see other things but the ginseng. It, you get mesmerized by it. We have hiked the four miles, gone through the thick bush, all with the sting nettle, there's no trail, like sweating like crazy. All of a sudden, we bump into this one in the middle of nowhere. It's a big four crown. Must be at least a 50, 60 years old sand. It's the biggest sand we find so far on this trip. They make all the hard work worth it. Wow, this is beautiful. Ginsengen isn't for everyone. It's a passion that uh, will overwhelm you. You can't wait to find the next one. So enjoy life, enjoy the outdoors, and take care of our resources, that's all we have.